Yeah. I just want to um, test it out, see if it's going to work. If not, I might have to change some things. I'm just using my um, first world and character as the test. We'll see how it goes anyway. I'm not expecting much. So yeah, in this world I've done a little bit more building. I've done, yeah, a bit of an inn, tavern sort of building, and a bit of a barracks. not exactly too happy with how they turned out, they're just big square buildings. <sighs> oh yeah, I did the tavern slash inn first. And that kind of gave me the idea of doing the barracks. I might tear down the barracks and redo it, but we'll see. I think my game has crashed though. Not liking this. Off to a good start. So yeah, I've figured out I can get the comfort level of 19 in this spot here. Let's see, yeah, there you go, 26 minutes of rest of buff. So yeah, we'll do, just do a quick run around. See if the stream can handle it. So yeah, that's the barracks that I've built. As I said, yeah, big square buildings. Not a fan of them, but I just wanted to test the concept out. Small rooms. And they're not, yeah, it's not a building that's going to be used for any type of cooking or anything like that, so I wasn't too worried about having a big fireplace. Shit. Um, it's just basically a building that has four rooms, exactly the same size. I've been having these issues of mobs spawning in my pens. The way the wolves. 
holes are lining up at the wall there makes me believe it's outside so fucking fill up the hole. Where's this one going? God damn. Okay, so I don't even have enough fucking wood on me to fill up. Just do like a stopgap.
Oh yeah, so this is the inside of my pens. some type of little lights outside or on the edge of the perimeter wall.
I should get through and pick all the carrots and turnips. than what's been built, but... Hmm. I do have a few ideas what to sort of build in here or along here to finish it off. Um, maybe a few stands or something like that. Food stores, food stands. Um, get up there. Shit. Yeah, we'll just go through. I know I did a world tour, but yeah, my mic wasn't working for that, so the whole fucking lesson was like a bit too uh, strange. It was just basically game music, so I might do a quick bass tour. But yeah, as you can see, I've got a few farm plots around, I've got two up there and then three along here, um, carrots, turnips and onions, I can, use the, I can get close to 200 if I fill up the whole plot properly where none of the plants are dying. foods. So that's 100, 
296. Spaced it out properly. I probably could have gotten 300 out of it. do have a portal just there so I can quickly portal over and set it up over. Um, I did have a small base just it was one of those um, prefab buildings yeah it was one of those small A-frame buildings sure if you can see it but yeah over there there's like a bit of a dirt spot that fucking rocks he's got the saddle on too building um, so it was a building that zero ster zero ster released a video building this particular one well it was like from this wall down to there um, yeah it didn't have the half didn't have uh, extra room on the end here, nor the sort of stairs going down, it's basically just cut off here. Um, so it, it, was, it was a good building used as a first base. Um, it did me well. Right up until uh, I think it was Yagler, Yag Yagler, yeah, the last boss. Um, this room was originally my crafting area because that was all my storage for resources here. I had a bed here, um, and yeah, this is my storage area. The towers are from Zero Star as well. Same with like my kitchen area. That was his as well. Um, the dock is kind of yeah. I took lot ideas from him for the dock, but yeah, it's not exactly the same. So, yeah, it's 
this was yeah my first um, guest house that I built. Something that I just threw together with taking ideas from that first one over there. It was pretty decent. Bed there. I think 16 is the highest comfort level in here. 18, I just see. Yeah, 18 in the doorway. But anyway, yeah, once my resources were getting a bit too much, I built my resource shed over here. Which is, yeah, plenty of space. And then, yeah, I had my crafting shed set off to the side here. With a few carts. Um, my portal room, which, yeah, it did the job, but getting to the point where I'm entirely happy with it. Um, I might change it up a little bit. And then yeah, my smelting area. This is something that I threw together. It wasn't anything too special. Um, chests for coal, coal pile, black metal scrap that I need to smelt down. Um, iron, silver, tin and copper. Two kilns, two blast furnaces, two normal furnaces. Um, they will go up and suss out the hay wire. Yeah, sorry man, I didn't see you jump into the last one. I was a bit distracted. How are ya? I don't think my mic was working for the last one either. Is my mic working this time though? Can you hear me? Sweet. Yeah, I, I didn't realise you jumped into the last one until like halfway through the stream. Yeah, I miss doing those ones too. Now oh, good fun. I was talking to Blackie the other day saying that we need to start doing them again. 
so hopefully we'll start doing them again soon. So yeah, this stream that I'm doing my way is just basically a test of, because I mucked around with the settings a little bit, just to see how that would turn out. Uh, this is Valheim, man. It's a Viking survival game. Basically, you get dropped into this world pretty much, yeah, buck naked, and you got to um, work your way up to take on these five different bosses in five different biomes, um, and each boss gives you sort of something that you need to go and prepare to take on the next boss. I'll run through the bosses real quick if you're curious about it. It's a, um, it's a good survival game, in my opinion, Huawei, you it, um, it's kind of like a Viking Minecraft style game. No, I haven't seen Morbius. I was a bit sceptical with um, old Leto as the main character, but with Matt Smith as kind of the um, antagonist, it's making me want to go and watch it. I take it you've watched Morbius. What did you um think of it? Yeah, it's it's unreal because in the comics Morbius like when he turns into the vampire, that's it. He's always, he always looks like that. There's no face changing or anything like that in the comics. Yeah, 
I don't know, I, I think it was the whole fact that it was Meadow that kind of put me off him. Put, put me off the movie. So with Morbius in, in the movie, is he considered like an anti-hero or is he more, did they sort of make him a bit more villainous? Like, yeah, it, it, it's one of those things, I don't care if you spoil the movie, I've seen, like, bits and pieces here and there, so I can't get the gist of the movie itself. It's stuck. Yeah, I think what really sort of put me off Leto was... Because he was the Joker, wasn't he, in um, the Batman movie, in Ben Affleck's Batman movie, wasn't he? Yeah, Sam, I'm a huge Matt Smith fan, I loved his Doctor Who series. Him and David Tennant are by far my favourite Doctor Who actors. sucks right see in the comics he sort of batted for both teams at certain points depended on who was writing the comic at the time um, but yeah he was a bit more standoffish but still being like yeah only um only killing like bad guys. Originally, he and Spider-Man definitely had their um came to blows with each other. Yeah. Yeah, I'm straight 
Cup hated his version of the Joker. I think it was his version of the Joker that just really sort of made me not like him. And yeah, as you said, like, they could have definitely done that and chosen a different person to play with this. Out of the um, all the Spider-Man related movies that have been released at the moment, like Venom, Morbius, and the Spider-Man trilogy, it's yeah the Venom movies are my favourite. I'm not a big fan of the Tom Holland Spider-Man. I'm still yet to watch the latest one, the No Way Home, where yeah, all three Spider-Men come together. I think that's the end reason I'd actually watch it is because Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in it. Spider-Man was always my favourite character for the superhero. Like, yeah, I grew up reading my uncle's comics. Um, Dr. Black, Blackie's brother. He collected all the old, yeah, he collected comics, so whenever a, we would go to our grandparents' place. His collection of comics was always there, so I would always be reading them. Like old school comics like Archie and oh, I think there was like what was it, Asterix comics as well. Sorry, dude. How's that?
Am I stuck on a rock? So yeah, basically I just grew up reading Spider-Man comics. A bit of a hard critic of the Spider-Man movies. Andrew Garfield was by far the most is it the closest to the comics within his his quips and like the fact that he made his web shooters yeah I, I did read yeah, yeah. I, I did see that he had a bit of a redemption arc in the new Spider-Man movie. Um, with him catching MJ when she was falling. I kinda... Yeah. I kinda hope they do give him another chance of doing one last movie. Like, they could do, like, a bit of a, um, um, so in, in the comics, Gwen Stacy was brought back as, oh, I think it was a Carnage symbiote. Um, yeah, there was, it, it, it was kind of like the beginning of the the whole cloning situation um the jackal is the antagonist who started cloning spider-man and he was in love with gwen stacy before she died and he cloned her and brought her back to life and everything like that so yeah that, that whole sort of comic book series was pretty pretty interesting read because yeah yeah well spider gwen's from um like a different uh universe so in that universe it was gwen stacy who got bitten by the spider um and got the spider powers Peter Parker and that universe ended up becoming the lizard. And yeah, they had a bit of a dust up in that story and he died. Yeah. Yeah, if they if they did something if they did another movie for Andrew Garfield, that would be awesome, but I think I'm just being a bit biased there, because, yeah, he's my favourite Spider-Man. Like, like, don't get me wrong, and, um, Tobey Maguire will always be the OG Spider-Man. And I think I did read somewhere that they wanted him to make his own web shooters. But the reasoning that they didn't was because they didn't think 
a high school kid would be able to make his own web shooters. Which is, yeah, complete horseshit. Because, yeah, as, as I was saying before, Peter Parker is one of the smartest fellas in the Marvel Universe. He just gets looked down a lot because he's dirt poor. Yeah, there was a, um, it was like this meme that was getting around where it was like Iron Man and Batman are sort of facing off against each other and they're just, they're like sort of got a, a bundle of cash under one arm and they're throwing cash at each other and you've got Spider-Man on the ground sort of scrambling around trying to pick everything up. Well, he had, he got the idea to make the spider fluid, like his web fluid from the spider bite, but in the comics he was always a chemistry whiz, um, so the formula that he came up with was all his own, it wasn't necessarily on because he got the spider bite, like, the spider bite gave him the idea to come up with it, but, yeah, he was, it was, yeah, all, all on his own. There's, um, there's a series of comics um, oh yeah, that there's, so, there's this whole, I think, there's, oh, I can't remember the exact name, the, no, not the Spectacular, um, so there was a series of co Spider-Man comics where it's actually Doc Ock, in Peter Parker's brain. Um, so like he, he goes around believing that he could be a better Spider-Man than Peter Parker. And it gets to a point where yeah Doc Ock basically gives Peter Parker his own his own body back. Because Peter Parker is still there in the back of Doc Ock's mind basically talking to him and everything um but yeah while Doc Ock was running around as Peter Parker you know he went off and finished Peter Parker's um college course he makes the Parker Industries which ends up rivaling um Stark Industries and yeah when Peter Parker finally gets his body back he yeah so he's in control of this multi-billion dollar uh, company and he starts to basically like in the No Way Home movie he comes up with um what would you call them? Antidotes? No. Ways to depower supervillains? But yeah, he's always caught between, you know, running his business and being Spider-Man. It's a good read. But yeah, as, as I said, I'm a bit biased when it comes to Spider-Man.
But yeah, there was um. Oh, have have you seen the trailer for the new Thor movie? With uh, Christian Bale as the bad guy. Yeah, so, um, his character is called Gore the God Butcher, and there was a bit where they sort of show off the sword that he uses. The sword that he uses, yeah, it, it does look interesting. I, I'm very curious, because, yeah, that whole series kind of, um, ties in with in the comics it ties in with the original sin where in the comic books Thor actually loses his worthiness to hold Mjolnir um, so that's how Jane ends up with the Thor of uh, the Thor Mjolnir of Thor and becomes the new Thor and um yeah the sword that Gore uses is uh, yeah I don't know how they're gonna do it in the movie just because the whole um okay fuck it in the comics yeah, Gore the God Butcher, he has, that sword is actually the sword that the um, creator of the Venom symbiotes, like all those symbiotes, he actually created them back in the beginning of the universe and everything like that, and he used that sword to kill a god basically and Gore comes across that sword and starts using it um, so yeah it, it's it'll be interesting to know the whole backstory between that sword in the movie whether the, they're gonna tie it in with Venom Yeah, Gore the God Butcher series is a good read as well. But yeah, because I'm into the Marvel comics, I've it's gotten to the point where um, yeah, it, it'll be hard for them to. really sort of be um, true to the comics because of what they've already done in the movies yeah yeah no yeah yeah, I, I didn't really want to sort of, um, go sort of too hardcore with the explanations, because, yeah, i got to remember that not, not many people are right into the comics as I am. Um, yeah, the Null comic book series are pretty, pretty awesome.
Yeah, so Gore the God Butcher, his series, he's running around with Null's sword, the God Slaying sword. Yes, yes, yep. Oh, yeah. There's so many comic book tie-ins with both series too. Doing as much damage as I thought I would be doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how um OP he gets with that sword. Yeah, I've got Blackie actually he put me onto this website where you can basically read any comic that you want. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's not good because I just sit there reading too many comics. Instead of doing things I should be doing, I just get so caught up in reading. But yeah, Love and Thunder looks fucking pretty good. The Thor movies, like, since um, Ragnarok, have by far looked the best movies out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe by far, in my opinion at least anyway. Is it, um, is it the same director from Ragnarok doing Love and Thunder? It's what I didn't look into.
I wonder if it is because you got Korg in there as well, so... Ragnarok was um, awesome, and yeah, Korg was awesome, and that kind of made me think that yeah, Love and Thunder might be him directing again, but it, they might have just brought him back to do Korg. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I had a feeling it might have been just... It kind of gave off the feeling that it was his movie. Yeah, 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 I absolutely love the Ragnarok too. Like, yeah, it, it definitely wasn't the, um, like the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've um, seen What We Do in the Shadows by him. That is classic as well. It's absolutely hilarious. He did, what was it, the search for the wilder people as well? I'm not even sure if that's the proper name, but the hunt or the search for the wilder people. Which, yeah, it definitely wasn't like his, um, what we do in the shadows or Ragnarok or anything like that, but it was a good movie.
excuse me. Um, what's the boss? Next boss. Blob trophies? Late trophies? Can't remember. Um, Plant and peers. I think that's what I need for the next one. Yeah, there's quite a few. Um, well, to me, they're big names, but in what we do in the shadows is it's very Kiwi. Very New Zealand. have the trophy to do. Ah, oh, shit. That's what I need to get as well. He was pretty funny as the bad guy in, um, was it that Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy, or, where he's like in a game as an NPC, but then he sort of gets awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the movie, but you know the one, the one that I'm talking about. He was very funny as a bad guy in that. It is called Free Guy? Wow. What do I need to um, summon this boss? Cook their remains. is to summon this boss. So yeah, in this game you've got to make like sacrifices to the bosses to summon them. So you've got to collect certain things and then throw a certain amount in to be able to summon them.
the ooze or gark? Might be ooze. I got clickbaited the other day about a third Deadpool movie. Shit. One second, I'm just trying to quickly. Google what I need to summon the bone mass. Oh, withered bones. I don't think I've actually got that many. some withered bones. So yeah, this little thing here is like a mob spawner. It spawns these things that they call um, certlings, which is just basically fire mobs. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try that next time. Alt F4 summons any boss in any game on PC. I do have enough. Oh, there's this um, group of people that I watch on YouTube, Neebs Gaming. <laughs> and one of the um, people that they yeah are in their group is called well he goes by Simon I don't think that's his actual name but he he's very computer illiterate so yeah it's um they can convince him to do a lot of dumb shit Yeah, there was, um, I think they will yeah, they were playing this game Seven Days to Die. And there was, like, this big fan trap. Basically, like, a spinning blade on the ground, uh, no, in, on the ceiling. And they were all basically, they had to duck in this room to get in there. And they turned on the blade and... Yeah, they convinced Simon to jump just by sort of, you know, everyone going, hit spacebar, hit spacebar. And so he hits spacebar and jumps straight into the blade and dives. And 
Yeah, I think one of them was screaming out for him to hit Alt F4. So yeah, this dude is the third boss, <coughs> um, and yeah, this is a swamp biome where, like, you can come here after you do that second boss, like that big tree dude that I was fighting before, but there's these, like, crypts around the place, like, over there, they're locked up and you need a key to get into them, which you get the key from the tree dude, and then you get like your yeah, iron, like scrap iron in those crypts that you use to make your yeah, iron weapons and everything. Weaknesses, clubs. All these little mobs that he throws out, their weaknesses are clubs as well. Yeah, you, you don't necessarily need to do this boss to sort of um, continue on with the progression of the game. Yeah, the thing that you get from him is you basically um, you use it to search for silver when you go up into the mountains. But yeah, silver is not exactly that much better than iron. So you can sort of skip over this dude and go on to the next one. Yeah, I think I've sunk like 300 hours into this game. Bone. It's a good game. I like it. Yeah very heavy on survival. Well, 
like you you won't die if you don't eat but yeah your health bar in the bottom left hand corner won't improve if you don't eat and your stamina won't improve yeah I did see that the new Miss Marvel series started as well. I hadn't actually seen anything about it, so I'm a bit curious what it's like. starting to freeze up on me. Yeah, that's the head of the boss that I just fought. Always found it pretty fucking unreal that, you know, his eyes, his teeth, his mouth. It's all just skeletons and bones. It is seven minutes past four o'clock in the morning. So yeah, pretty late or early, depending on how you're looking at it. What about yourself? What time is it over there? It'd be pretty... late in the evening? No. In the afternoon? Or would it be evening over there? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I, um, had a nap in the afternoon. That turned up, turned into a pretty long sleep and woke up pretty late, so... Late being, like, two o'clock in the morning. Oh, Kali. Yeah, okay. I suppose it'd be pretty, um... What, that, that's Thursday? Your time? Cause yeah, it's like... Uh, ten past four Friday morning here.
Yeah. So I think one of the streams that we did, I think I was fighting a boss at the time. Might have been the second one me and Blackie did. And yeah, this is the boss that I was fighting at the time. I, I just need to get two more eggs and I can summon it. It's like a big ice dragon. I did have an egg back at base, but... Um, so like th those portals that I have set up back at base, there's certain things you can take through them and certain things you can't. And one of the things that you can't take through them are the eggs. And yeah, they're like... So, this down here is the amount of weight that I can carry. Everything here has a weight. And yeah, the dragon eggs are 200. Which, yeah basically means I can only carry one at a time so I've got to go out and search for the eggs so that thing in the hole there is silver but of course, this seems like... Probably gonna die. What was that? That sounded like a fully... So what killed that? That did. What's the weather like over in California at the moment?
Yeah. Yeah, we're um in winter at the moment, so it is uh, my phone doesn't show the correct temperature. But yeah, yesterday it was like two o'clock uh, two o'clock. It was like two degrees at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. Where I am at least anyway. Just opening up an app on my phone. Um, why isn't it showing anything? Okay, so where I am, it's 1.4 degrees. Feels like minus 2.7. Oh, that's Celsius. Um, shit. I'm trying to convert it to Fahrenheit. I don't know. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, I think once it gets to a certain point, like, I think it's like minus 40 or minus 30 or something like that, it doesn't matter, both Celsius and Fahrenheit is basically the same at that temperature. Um, Minus 40, I thought it was, yeah, around there. I need to find one more egg and I can do this next boss. And it's only getting colder as well. Like it might be a few degrees warmer at Blackie's house. Just because he's closer to the coast. Um, But yeah, not much difference. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when it's really... Uh, not sometimes, but usually later on in the evening probably around midnight, just after midnight, depending on the, what the beach is like, you can sound the beach, uh, sound, you can hear the ocean from Blackie's place.
Um, depends on what context. Like if I'm um, talking about him to relatives, it'll be Mike. Um, but yeah, usually, like when we're together, I don't usually call him anything. It's just because yeah, he's um, it's not that often that when we're together, we're. I'm sort of calling out to him. It's funny because we're both kind of the uh, black sheep of the family. He's the black sheep of like his generation and I'm the black sheep of my generation. Yeah, even though there's only like 14 years difference between us. Other a fair bit. You know, we'll, I go around and everyone, but after that, it's just, yeah, I'm usually sort of on my own or hanging out with him. An Eshe? What would be considered an Eshe? Like... So if... I thought that was a bit more of a, um... English lingo. Well, like... Yeah, you've got Aussie lingo and then you've got English... Like, England. UK. I haven't really heard the term... Eshe being used over here. No, I'd sort of put him in his own sort of category, really. Like, yeah, you know, he's a muso. He likes all different types of music, but he's really sort of into metal and rock. But then, you know, he watches um, cartoons as well, plays games. Yeah, it's a bit hard, a bit hard to describe, to describe him. I need to get out of this blizzard. Yeah, it's... Australia's weird. 
yeah, yeah, he, he definitely does deserve his own category. Yeah, Australians are weird because there's a lot of um, appropriation of other people's uh, terminologies. But then there's a lot of our own. So like, um, uh, okay, for an example, like in America, you've got rednecks, but then sort of in Australia, we consider rednecks as bogans. Um, yeah, it's weird, like, you can probably call someone a bogan, but then it not have the same meaning as what a redneck does. But then you can also call someone over here a redneck and it not being the same as a redneck over in the States. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what would be considered Eshe. funny because there's, well, in my experience, there's not that many people that use the saying fair dinkum over here. Like, it probably doesn't get as used as often as a lot of people would believe. Same with, like, Struth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think one of the last ones that I saw him do... I think it was um, Dwayne Johnson and someone else. I think he's had Dwayne Johnson on there doing it twice, maybe. One where he did it with Kevin Hart, and one where he did it with someone else. Um, and I think he had... Yeah, one of the last ones that I saw might have been the one where he did it with Sam Neill. Yeah, I thought, I thought he did another one with Dwayne Johnson and someone else. But it might have just been an interview that he did with him. Like, not the guess the Aussie slang, it might have just been like an interview. But 
but yeah, it's um, it's always funny. Ah, oh, shit. When the prize is a um, a jar of Vegemite. Okay, where was that? That way. But yeah, one of my um, all-time favourite sayings that a lot of people just sort of blows their mind is we're not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, it was like that Jungle Cruise movie that he did or some shit. It was the other um, lead actor. But yeah, one of the favourite sayings that always does people's heads in is we're not here to fuck spiders. Which is basically we're not here to muck around, we're not here to play around. Pleasant. There should be an egg around here. Unless that was one that I already collected. <laughs> I hadn't actually heard that before. Ah, oh, there it is. Sweet. Now I've got to get back to... There. Oh yeah, when you finish off a boss and you hang their head up, you get their powers and each one has a different power, like the deer boss gives you reduced stamina drain for jumping and running. Um, the Groot looking thing gives you faster wood chopping. Um, the bone mass, I think, gives you resistance to blunt, pierce and slash damage. And yeah, this next boss that I'm fighting gives you, like, um, always have tailwind when you're out sailing. But yeah, they're all limited. I think they're all limited to, like, five minutes. And then you got to wait, like, 15 minutes after that until you can use it again.
I think he gave me like resistance to blunt slash and pierce damage. I'll go suss him out. Like once I put this egg back down, I'll head back to base and you can actually go over to where you hang the heads up. And you can see what they give you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's blunt pierce and slash damage. Like reduced damaged damage taken. There's that monster again. He's fighting that. Nice. Yeah, he um he drops like a wishbone where if you um equip it it's kinda like um uh like it's almost like how a metal detector it like beeps and then once you get closer to either one of these silver veins or like a treasure, it'll beep quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, which, yeah, it's silver. It's... You can get away without getting the silver. I'll take this stuff back and dump it off as well. Actually grab that wishbone and sort of give you a demo of it.
So yeah, basically when you start the game, you get dropped off here with like a rag tunic and that's it. And you gotta go around and collect up all these branches and stones and make yourself an axe and a club and a hammer. Then you start chopping trees down to make stuff. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bone mass. Resistance versus physical damage. So, resistance versus blunt. Resistance versus slash. And resistance versus pierce. Which... I don't think I've actually used it before. Yeah, this is the boss that I'm about to fight now. It's, um... Always tailwind when sailing. And then, yeah, this is the last one. Resistance... versus magic damage and lightning damage. Fire, frost and lightning, which... I'll actually use... I've still got 11 minutes until I can use it a uh, power again. So yeah, like Minecraft, you can sleep through the night as well. I'll just... Yeah, nice. You save. Oh, okay. Just go off and do it. <coughs> right, so what I'll do. I think I'll need that stuff just cause, yeah, it's... I'm fighting the fucking dragon, basically. Can I repair? Oh shit. I'll just do a quick repair and then, yeah, we'll fight it. Yeah, basically in this world I'm in the end game. I've beaten all the bosses, gotten all the um, best equipment and weapons and upgraded them as much as possible. And I'm just basically, yeah, fucking around.
say this this trench here no I've, I've just been using because I've got a um, Nvidia a graphics card I've just been using their um, streaming program I do have OBS but yeah with the stats on my computer it's not exactly the best so it struggles when I try to stream in higher quality like yeah this this whole stream was basically a test because I did up my settings like I tried to up the quality of the stream just to see how it would go um, when I did first start streaming I was playing seven days to die on a higher quality and it was going fine but then all of a sudden it just started shitting itself like I couldn't stream for longer than half an hour before it'd say that it would couldn't handle the quality and had to stop. So that's why my streams, yeah, look like shit. Um, and yeah, this one I sort of bumped it up a little bit to see if it could handle it. Yeah. Yeah, if I try to go any higher, I think it just it struggles to do it. It is, it's a pretty old sort of setup as well. Um, like my motherboard is probably a good uh, five, six years old. Graphics card is probably a good four years old. Yeah, I definitely need to um, upgrade my PC if I want to do better quality streams. Which kind of sucks because, yeah, as you can see, the um, quality is potato. Yeah, there's a few moments where it like sort of clears up, but very rarely. Like, it, it's not a very graphics draining game itself, either. That, that's why it was sort of confusing me when um, when I was playing Seven Days to Die. You know, that's yeah, it, it's graphics in that game just sort of shits all over this game graphics-wise. But yeah, it I, it does my head in there. It really does. But I suppose, like, my PC itself is a bit of a, um, Frankenstein's monster. It's built with parts that have been sort of given by my brothers. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I just I just need to buy the bullet and completely upgrade my PC.
think there's something going on with this boss because it's not acting like it should. Because even when I try to watch playbacks of it, it's just... Yeah, it shits me to tears. Yeah, that, that's one thing I like about the game, is it's not huge on uh, graphics. And that, and that's one thing that it like sort of it played to when it first came out was it wasn't a very graphics heavy game it was more about the gameplay itself Yeah, I was never really a PC gamer either. It's really only in the last five years that I've gotten myself a PC. I was always a um, console player. Always PlayStation. Yeah, so this trench is a bit of a cheese way to fight this boss.
Yeah, I, I've seen a fair few decent gaming laptops out there that just absolutely trumps fucking any gaming PC that can be bought. Um, Jay-Z Two Cents is a PC builder that does videos on YouTube and he did a um like a video review of a gaming p uh, laptop and it just looked absolutely amazing um Alienware has some pretty decent gaming laptops out as well be awesome because you know <coughs> it's a lot easier to carry around a laptop than it is a PC when you're traveling I do like this game a lot. I wouldn't have sunk 300 hours into it otherwise. That Costco? Where? Wow. That's unreal. Like the 3060 in the video card, that's... yeah. See, this PC's got the 16 RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, the one terabyte S SSD, and but I think my Nvidia cards at 1980. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've checked out the specs, but it is a pretty old card of that as well. Shit, only eight hour arrows left. I may have grossly underestimated how many arrows I needed. Well, I know that the um, the yeah the thirty series, the three thousand series, have been struggling. 
to even like because as soon as they get any in stock it all gets bought up straight away so whether it's the 3090 or 3060 they always just get bought up straight away so yeah for a laptop to have that as stock standard yeah that's unreal Yeah, that sounds about right. A lot of that price would just be the um, graphics card alone. I was a bit worried there because I was running out of um, arrows, seven arrows left. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, but I know that I heard somewhere or read something that they were limiting the sales of the new graphics cards because you'd have a lot of scalpers, excuse me, purchasing them and then selling them at double the price, basically. Yeah, I've only heard of Lenovo, Lenovo doing uh, monitors, not actually doing laptops. Must be branching out, or I'm just ignorant. some more yeah there's not that many games out on PS uh, PS5 at the moment that really sort of jumps out and says I need to buy a PS5.
Yeah, there's um, is it Harvey Norman over here? They well, last time I checked, probably a couple months ago. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Nah, too easy, man. I really appreciate you jumping in. I'll get into Blackie's ear and see if we can start up those other streams again. But yeah, really appreciate you jumping in and hanging out with me. It's been a blast. But yeah, hopefully I can um, get this whole streaming quality thing sorted out next time, man. I know it's a bit potato quality. Hopefully I can get it done. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I was... wasn't meaning to stream for this long. It was only meant to be a test, but yeah what happens anyway man yeah enjoy yours too well enjoy your Thursday and hopefully I'll talk to you again soon Take care, man.